Oh my god. Smokey. Do you want to be in the video? Sorry about Smokey. He might, um, you know, just be walking around on my bed and just demanding attention the entire time. <laughs> Anyways, welcome back to another video. Today is going to be kind of just a very glowy bronze look as summer approaches really soon. Also, Sephora's spring savings event is literally about to occur. So I'm going to be showing you guys all of my like Sephora favorites that I've been loving recently um, so that you guys can get your hands on them as well and save a lot of money. I hope he stays occupied. So the first product that I'm going to use is the In Beauty Project Face Glaze. You guys know I'm obsessed with this as a primer especially. Oh wait, I forgot to moisturize. But um, this is also their um, 10 plus 10 moisturizer. I do like to go in with some sort of moisturizer just to like prep my skin. Just a little bit of moisturizer is what I need for that smooth base. If you don't prep your skin before makeup, and you find that your makeup looks really like dry and just like i don't know crusty like dry patches definitely just try to put some sort of moisturizer on i really like this one by in beauty project um because it's not like oily in any way but it definitely is just really really hydrating next their face glaze literally obsessed if you guys are going to pick up any product from the sephora savings event for sure check out their face glaze because this I feel like I can't do my makeup without. It is just like, I mean, you guys can just see how glowy it is, but it's more of like that glow from within kind of look. But also, it does like hydrate your skin. It's a skincare product as well. So it has vegan squalane, ceramides, and hyaluronic acid. It's not just a makeup product. It's a skincare product as well. So that's why, honestly, I love using it as that base for my makeup so that I know my skin is being taken care of. I do my brows next. This is the Anastasia Brow Freeze. I am really low on this stuff, but I'm also using Anastasia's um, spoolie and spatula. Smokey is actually just the noisiest dog ever. <laughs> I don't know how I haven't gone crazy yet, but so I'm really sorry if he's distracting, but like he would be more distracting if I locked him out of my room. He would be just nonstop whining and barking. So I'm going to be moving on to the face. I'm going to use this Dr. Jart plus BB Premium Beauty Balm. I recently got this uh, mainly because I was looking for just that kind of BB cream or tinted moisturizer kind of thing for the summertime and this has SPF 40 So I'm thinking this is gonna be like my new favorite thing to wear during the summertime That is super like light on the face and almost just feels like a moisturizer Apparently this is a really popular product and the shade below this was completely sold out at the Sephora that I went to So I ended up just getting this one like the darker shade because I do think I am going to get darker as, you know, the summertime goes on. But with this, as you can see, it's really dark. So I'm using the smallest amount to almost make it like really sheer so that it's not as dark. I'm also going to use the Makeup by Mario Surreal Skin um, Foundation in the shade 15N. This foundation is pretty dark but I'm gonna be balancing it out with like concealer and all of that good stuff I do like to go a lot lighter in my concealer so I do find that using kind of like a darker foundation to offset the lighter concealer is the best way to go you can just see how dark like my arms are it's mainly like my neck and my face that is so light i cannot stand the look of just foundation with no concealer it just looks so odd to me i'm gonna go in with the nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade light 2.6 i still do want my freckles to show sometimes i do cover them Probably more than I should, but today, with the look that I'm going for, I feel like I need them to show a little bit more. Oh my god, it's my bestie calling. Hello. Hey, what are you doing? Just doing my makeup, 
filming a little bit. So this is the concealer. As you can see, it just looks so much better. But like I said, I want this to be like a glowy bronze look. So I'm going in with the Milk Makeup Bronzer Stick in the shade Baked. I think that's the shade of this. And I'm just going to put some on the areas that I usually like to bronze my face up. Sorry if you can hear my dog snoring, but um, I like to go in with some sort of brush to like blend this out a little bit. I usually like to go in like dabbing motions. Like this bronzer stick is so creamy that you really don't need to like really try to like blend it out too much. You just kind of tap it in and it'll kind of just blend out on its own. It's really nice. I'm kind of done trying to perfect some sort of like nose contour i feel like my nose shape is just not built for that it's so weird like at this point i don't even care so i literally just do like a little boom boom and then that's all i do you want to go in with some very pink blush of course i i feel like any sort of blush that you get from sephora has to be rare beauty I kind of thought they were maybe like overly hyped for a while, but like once I actually tried it out, I was like, okay, all right. When people say like they only put like a dot, I'm like, I put a lot on, honestly. But I like a lot of blush, so. So I've been absolutely and utterly obsessed with this Givenchy powder, Prism Libre, I think is what it's called. And this is the pinkest shade. I'm not gonna set my under eye as much as I usually do because I want to keep a good amount of like glow. But I'm just obsessed with this color because it just has like that bright pink color and it just goes so well with my blush. Going in with the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm just gonna go everywhere on my eyelid crease inner crease like everything because i just really want again just that really like bronzed kind of look also gonna take that below i'm gonna go in with the makeup by mario master of mattes palette i think that's what it's called yeah master mattes palette sorry i'm just going in with like this brown shade right here it's just like a very neutral brown. I'm really just going close to my lash line. This is just like the easiest kind of neutral bronzy um, eye makeup look. So I know I'm jumping palettes a lot, but like you guys can get all of these still from Sephora. This is the NARS Summer Unrated. Oh, how fitting. Summer Unrated palette. It has so many just like beautiful neutral but also you can add in some color here and there i'm gonna use this like highlight shade right here i like to highlight my brow bone you see how that kind of just brings like the eyeshadow together and it just makes it even more of like that summery like glowy look and then i'm also going in the inner corner and I like to like really bring it up into that like entire just inner corner area. Okay. I'm not finished with the eyes yet, but I just feel like I kind of want a little bit of this Dior um, pink blush in the shade 001 Pink Rosy Glow Dior Backstage Blush, whatever. I'm gonna go in with just a touch of this, like really close to like my under eye area. I wanna add some of that like highlight to the bridge of my nose as well. This is like how I contour my nose. It's not really with just a bunch of bronzer. It's just more highlight, like highlighting the right areas of my nose. See? I'm gonna use brown mascara. This is by YSL and it's their Lash Clash uh, mascara in the shade 2 Brown. So yeah, it's it's definitely brown. Honestly, I really do like this look because it kind of does add like that soft look whereas like black mascara, black mascara can be just like really like boom. 
I'm going to go in with the Lancome Waterproof Eyeliner in the shade Chocolate Matte 03. And I like to go on my waterline and my tight line. I feel like I kind of just want my makeup to look a little bit more glowy. I'm going to take a little bit more of that in Beauty Face Glaze. And then take this on my sponge and kind of just go around. Do you see that? Oh my god. I'm obsessed with this stuff. You can use it like over your makeup to give you this insane glow from within kind of look. For lips today, I'm using the Anastasia Lip Liner in the shade Deep Taupe. And I don't know if you guys have noticed this entire video, but I did get my lips done. Honestly, I don't know why I didn't do it sooner, but I am fully obsessed. I think they do look so natural. And also, um, I feel like the pain level when I was getting them done was like maybe at like a five. Like it was not bad at all. My injector was so amazing. Like she did such a good job and she was just so sweet, so nice. Made me feel so comfortable. Anyways, um, for my lip gloss, I'm going to be using the In Beauty Project lip oil in the shade Frosé. So obsessed with their lip oils and I've actually gifted these lip oils to some of my friends and I swear it's the only thing they use on their lips. These are so moisturizing and absolutely gorgeous. Like, each of them actually do have a scent that is tied to the shade that it is. So, every single one of them smells absolutely amazing. It feels amazing on the lips. So, yeah, this is the finished makeup look. As you can see, I am absolutely glowing. But it's just not that, like... 2016 like highlighter just like that healthy healthy glow summer glow summer bronze and i'm completely obsessed so yeah don't forget to check out in beauty project for the sephora spring savings event anyways i really hope you guys enjoyed it and i will see you guys in my next video bye